Hi, my name is Heather, and today I'm going to show you how to make a multicolor SVG in Vector Q that you can bring into Cricut Design Space. If you followed my last tutorial, then you saw how to create a single color SVG that you can bring into Design Space. We're actually going to start with our file from that tutorial. So if you haven't done that tutorial yet, then go ahead and do that. And then the next step will be to follow along with this video. I just opened up Vector Q and I'm going to click on the projects gallery. And these are the two files from last time. So we have the first one, which was the one with all of the lines still intact so that you can edit all of the line work. And then the second one is the one that was after we converted it to a shape. So let's click on the second one. This is just all one shape. You can see the blue outlines around the shape. So now I'm just going to go to Actions, Edit Paths, Break Apart. And now all of the little inside pieces are their own piece. So we have this, which is an inside, and then we also have the silhouette out here. Now we just need to add colors to all of our inside pieces. Let's put our silhouette on a separate layer, and that'll be a lot easier to work with all of the inside pieces. So go ahead and you can just move one of these pieces away if you have to, and then you can grab your silhouette. And then you can do actions, cut, and then create a new layer with the new layer button. And then you can do actions, paste. And then you can just kind of move it to where it goes. And let's actually lock it and hide it. Now we can more easily change our colors. So I'm going to click on the bottom layer that has all of my little pieces on it. And then I'll just move the tail back. And now we can set all of our colors. So I'll grab this big part here and I want them to be a Calico Kitty. So I'm gonna to go to Appearance and I'm in Fill. And then I can grab some color swatches if I want to, or you can use like the RGB CMYK HSL sliders. But I'm going to click this little swatches here and I'll just pick out some color swatches. So I'll just click on the one that I want and then do add colors. And then when you're done, you can click the little swatch button again. So now that I have my swatches and I have this little piece selected, I will just click a swatch and there's that color. So I'm going to set some of these other colors. If you make any of your own colors, then once you have a color you like, you can click this little add swatch button and it'll add it right there. I have some white parts in my Calico Kitty, but I just did it a very light color that's not quite white, just because if I made it white, I wouldn't be able to see it right now since my background is white. Now we also have these parts, which are our little details. And I do have like this circle here is supposed to be outlined. So this part, did not get outlined when we did break apart. So what we'll need to do is convert anything that's supposed to be black to be a cutout. Since this is supposed to be an outline with this little inside filled in, then the outline needs to be black and then this will just be a shape. So first of all, we'll need to cut out this circle from the orange part. We'll need to grab the circle and the orange part. In order to do that, we can grab the circle and then click the select button and grab the little select plus and then click the orange part. So that just added to our selection. We have the orange foot and the black little circle. And now we're just going to cut the black circle out of the orange paw. So in order to do that, we're going to go to edit and we'll click the subtract front button. Now we can go back to the regular select tool we can move this guy back and make him whatever color we want. So I can make it the light color. And then this part that's cut out is gonna be black. And we can see that if we go to our layers 
and we're actually going to need our silhouette layer to be on the bottom so let's move it you'll need to select it with your finger and then move it down and let's click the little eye so it comes back on our stuff did get shifted a little bit but that's okay so we can just kind of move it in place and that's what it's going to look like and then we also have the little pads for the toes and that's another part that we're going to want to cut out. When we're making this with the Cricut, we don't want to have to add another layer of vinyl or paper or whatever on top of the orange. If it's just cut out, then it'll just show the black underneath. So in order to do that, we can hide our bottom layer again. And then again, we're just going to cut these out of the foot. Make sure you have them exactly where you want them. And then you can just click your select plus button and add all this stuff to your selection and then do subtract front and there it's cut out and so now if we show our silhouette we can see the black come through so i hope that made sense i'll do it also with the other foot so you can see so i'm going to switch to the regular select i'm gonna move this down where it goes and then i'll put these guys all in place I'm going to take the middle part of the pad out because that's going to be the colored one. And now we have this that we want to cut out and the three little toe pads. So I have this one selected. I'm going to press the select plus and I'm going to add these three to my selection and the one in the back. Let's also turn off the layer behind so we can see what we're doing. And now what we're going to do is just cut these parts out of the foot. So I'm going to do the subtract front, so it'll subtract the shapes that are in the front. And there we have our little foot. And if we turn on the black silhouette, then the black shows through. We can take this little pad and make it whatever color we want. So I'll go to appearance and let's make it brown. And then I'll just move it here. We can switch back to our regular select tool and then we can move everything back into place. And then the other small details that we still have left are the insides of the ears and the eyes and the nose. For the nose, we had that as an outline and then a color inside of it. So we want the outline to be black. So in order to do that, we're going to wanna to take the little inside part out. So that's gonna be the color. And then this part we want to be black. So again, we're going to go to the layers and we're gonna hide the layer underneath so we can see what we're doing. And actually we can also subtract out this eye as well. So let's go ahead and do that too. So we have the eye selected and we'll grab our select plus tool, grab the nose and grab the head. We're gonna go to edit, subtract front. And now those are subtracted out so if we go to our layers, then we can show this bottom layer and ta-da. So then we also have these ones left. So you can easily see which pieces you have left to do because you just show the bottom layer or hide it. So we still have the ear left and let's take out the inside of the ear and we'll move this one like that. Also make sure you're switching back to your regular select tool Otherwise, you'll just keep adding to your selection. So now that we have this tool, we can grab this guy and then we'll do our select plus and select that one and subtract front. And then let's do the same thing with these. So I'm going to go back to my regular select tool. You may have to zoom in in order to grab the piece and we'll take this piece out and then I can just subtract this piece and the eye from the head. So subtract the front and now we have all that done and we can put our little pieces back in. So I'm going to go to my regular select tool, put this here and I can change the color and then I can put this one here, change the color and I'll put the little nose and maybe we'll make that the same pink as the heart. So there are all of our top layers for our kitty. Now we can go back to our layers and show the bottom layer. And then you may need to just kind of move this stuff 
position it a little better if you know you kind of moved stuff around and there we go that's our final version of our kitty however if you want these things to cut out exactly where they are because of the shrinkage that is associated with the iron-ons you may not want them to be cut out together for example like if you have these brown ones all together and have them cut out in that orientation when you put them on they may not line up exactly and then you'll have to cut them apart anyways but you may want to have them together as one object you know it's kind of up to you and what you have planned for your SVG so I'm going to show you how to do that in case you do want to do it so for example if I want all of the orange pieces to come in as one piece then I'm going to select them. So I'll select the one, grab the select plus tool, grab the other one, and then I'm just gonna go up to edit and combine. So now if I grab one, then I'm grabbing both of them. And you only wanna do this with the ones that are the same color because once you combine them, they're gonna become the same color, if that makes sense. So like we would only combine the brown with the other browns. I have all the browns selected, so I'll just do combine. And now they are all one shape. And you can just go ahead and do that with all of them if you want them like that. And sometimes when you grab it, you might accidentally shift it a little bit. And if you do that, you can just press the undo button. And then it'll still keep it selected too. It'll just not be shifted anymore. I combined all of mine that are the same color. And now we can go ahead and export. And remember, you will have to upgrade to the paid version, which is $5.99, in order to export. We still have our silhouette on the bottom layer, so just make sure that's still showing. And then we can go to Share, SVG, and then we'll click Open In save to files, give it a name, save, and then we can go to design space and just test it out, make sure everything comes through okay. I'm going to click new project and I'll do replace because I had that old project there and upload, browse files, find my kitty, I'll give it a name, insert and there's our kitty so we can go to our layers and we can see all of our different layers here that are separated by color and then there's our silhouette and that's it so I hope this helped you and let me know if you have any questions in the comments or you can also email me at heather at heathercash.com let me know if you have any suggestions for future videos, anything else you'd like to learn. Remember to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and that way I'll know to make more videos like this in the future. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!